Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Monster Train The Last Divinity. Um, good runs lately. Having a, lot, having a lot of fun. Actually, have a win streak. And we'll just do a random random. We should really maybe uh, start filling out the logbook, but honestly, the randoms are totally fine, at least for now. I've been having a lot of fun with Monster Train, and I have to... I have to feel like either I'm getting very lucky lately, or maybe I'm starting to kind of wrap my head around how to win in The Last Divinity, because I feel like I understand what I need. I've been having a, a, a good string of luck getting what I need, but I still think that sometimes the game is a little bit BS and making you just die to The Last Divinity because you can't outscale 200 HP units, or 600 HP units for that matter. Echo Snare, Apply Reap, Whiplash. Apply plus 10 and burn out 2, consume, gain 1 energy per charged echo. Daedalus fell, rage fell is the absolute worst, and Seraph buff debuff. Well, uh, we're the Spine Chief. What is it? Is it the Decayer, the Corrupter, the Infuser? One of those Spine Chiefs is like the good one. I always forget which one it is. Blights and Scourges cost 0 spells, get an extra upgrade slot. I don't really like any of my spells right now, but admittedly that is very tempting. I mean, even just putting cheap spell, cheap upgrades on spells is nice, but then you can also make a spell innate, spell chain, minus two, hold over. You can mix and match any of the, any three of those uh, very powerful upgrades and make a super spell. Um, so I think we'll just take that at least to start with. The Corruptor and the Infector. Strike, gain charged echoes, or friendly units have plus attack per charged, charged echo, excuse me. I like that the Corruptor kind of scales a little bit, and I think that there's a bit of a synergy between the Infector and the Corruptor, because during Relentless, every time you attack, you gain charged echoes, which buffs the attack of unit. I also feel like the Infector is and I never thought about this, very good at unlocking the eggs, because every time he attacks, you gain one charged echo, and I think he just starts getting a multi-strike eventually. Yeah, he starts getting multi-strike, so you can gain lots of echoes per floor. And he's also the tankiest of the three, which makes me feel very good about taking him, but, you know, what? thinking about the divinity, thinking about what we're gonna need, what do you need? You need damage. How do you get damage? Corruptor gives you a lot of damage. So I do think that the Corruptor, to scale so well with multi-strike units, he's still a very good tank. It's a pretty, pretty good unit. So we'll go for the Corruptor. And what I like about um, this as opposed to Reap is that even if you have an egg, you get the benefit of the Echoes giving you damage, then they get eaten by the eggs instead of the charge echo is getting eaten by the eggs and then the reap has no damage output anymore. So I do like the corruptor. I think it's a very, very fun unit, a very good unit. And we could go for some early boons, considering we have some time before the the first temple. I'm gonna take a little bit of gold just so we have money to do some upgrading, because we do have, you know, better spell up spells with the um, more capacity. We're gonna wanna add some units. I think this is fine. Now, as for you, Slay Damage Shield. Primitive Molds, Wicklash, Fractures. I don't really know how I want to build this, to be honest with you, but we'll just start on the second floors. Gain one energy per echo and form a random unit, consume don't really know what to do here. You're probably gonna get a damage shield, unfortunately. Plus 10 attack and burn out two to a friendly unit. I mean, I could, I could buff your attack. And then if I infuse you, well, you won't heal, and then you'll probably die on the next floor. I'd love to start stacking up the damage up here, though, so we can, we can kill you as you move up. I actually think that Killing you is going to be important. Increasing your damage is going to be important. And you know what? We should have played um, the mold into gain extra energy because we could have actually done stuff with it. Apply Reap 2 to units. It's 
It's a funny one, but I actually think... that it works here. That I think that's gonna purge your damage shield. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna purge your damage shield by hitting me. <laughs> and you're dying anyways, so we'll kill you. We will um, apply more reap to you. You're already dying, but we do wanna have uh, spells up here so that we can get the charge echoes filled out, but I, what I'm actually gonna do is start buffing you a little bit more first. Just because now he's taking more damage every turn, basically. Every time there's a freaking uh, charged echo out there. So, hit ya, hit ya. Gain energy. Doesn't really seem that important. You're taking 132 damage. At least the train stewards are, are functioning well with the molding. Anyways, you're dead. Well, I mean, it worked, so I can't complain about it. Extract one, apply plus 10. Return random spells from the discard to your hand and apply consume. Consume apply armor per shard. I do love a good echo infusion for stacking up a tank, but it will cost us one shard per play, but I like it enough to take it. Infused Descend Days, or Mold a Unit. We're hopefully not gonna lose too many units, I think. Uh, molding a Unit, we have Primitive Molds already, and you know, right now they're just targeting Train Stewards. I don't think we need a Target and Mold. It's not, not like we got a Little Fade. I do like a one-off Descend. It is nice. It's nice just to be able to play it and, you know, keep the, the Loot Goblin alive, move your own units around, whatever. And I do like a Legion of Wax. I think Legion of Wax is amazing. And, I mean, let's be honest, you gotta take a Legion of Wax. Because now if you get Wax or Snuffer, it's an instant take. <laughs> Wormkin unit, Remnant unit, spell upgrades, unit upgrades. I really do think that maybe we just go heavy into the Legion unit upgrade and see what we can get, because if we can make him big, we're gonna love life. And I gotta admit, a multi-strike large stone legion is insanely good if we can get it, but maybe we'll multi-strike something else. Inspire plus one, plus one to friendly units. See, this is a tough one because the kin host kinda does synergize with the, first of all, it's a multi-strike unit, does synergize a little bit with the uh, champion, because if we can get the champion that strike gives you charged echoes, they can get sucked into the kin host. And then also, as we play echoes on a floor, we get the damage bonus for the echoes, and then also the echoes go into the shell. But then again, then again, this does mean that we're not going to keep that damage bonus. It's going to go away eventually. Well, every turn. Armor and Strike apply Reap, plus five and Inspire, plus one, plus one. Don't really synergize with the Legion at all. Plus eight, plus eight, Revenge, summon one basic copy of a Mote of Wax. See, this is a tough one, because I know we have Multi-Strike in the shop. Why are you so bad? Is there another unit that on Inspire gains stats? Hold on. Wormkin units. Yeah, Shard Soul Carver. Inspire plus two armor two, which is just, well, it's a larger unit. It takes up more capacity, but it is basically better than the Keeper of Echoes because plus one plus one, that's half as much. So I'm looking at the Keeper of Echoes thinking that we could take it, but it's a more expensive unit that takes one less capacity for half the bonuses. Is this, is it? Am I getting this right? Is this really that bad of a unit? <laughs> Wrong one. Yeah, it's really that bad of a unit. It's more expensive for half the buff. I'm not losing my mind, right? This is, this is just straight up worse than this. Yeah, this is one more capacity, but it's tankier, does more damage, 
Ah, you know what? This only buffs itself. This buffs everyone. Yeah, okay, okay. So they are functionally different. My bad. Uh, but I still don't think we need it. We have enough scaling with our champion's ability, so I, I don't think we need a Keeper of Echoes. I'm just thinking about the egg, and I really don't know if I want the Kinhos Pupa. But I think it's good enough to take early. And it might even be good enough to just, you know, shove a multi-strike on it so that it can it can scale uh, insanely well. But I also think a multi-strike large stone legion of wax is also stupidly good. So I'm gonna go multi-strike on the legion. We can't afford a reroll, unfortunately. It's gonna make you a little tankier. It could make you stronger as well, but that feels like a bit of a waste. You know what? If uh, if we need to, we can always get the gold. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go for a uh, large stone multi-strike Legion of Wax, who is is definitely playable. And I gotta admit, I'm thinking about just making the kin host just be a tanky tanky kin host. He does 30 damage times two already, and maybe we can scale his offense somehow, but. That's probably a little too much on the HP front. Because he's gonna go behind our champion 100%. Still, I, I kinda like that. We got what we wanted on the Legion. Enemy units enter with armor 10. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. And now I'm thinking, what if we just go heavy Legion strats? Like, can we ascend, descend, copy the Legion five times, just make one floor of five Legions of Waxes? We probably could. I'm hoping. I mean, I'm also thinking about this like, what if we just put the Legion on the same floor as the Spine Chief, like, now? And then we have one floor of a multi-strike Legion of Wax behind the Spine Chief that'll destroy everything? How can this not be the right play? Oh look, you're not quite dead, but you will die, you will die. Um, actually, you're not gonna die, unfortunately. This kills you. That almost kills you. Doesn't quite get you there, though. I don't think we need to play the Kin Host, honestly. Because it does no damage, it's never gonna be unlocked, but we can play it behind the Train Steward, but the Train Steward is not even playable right now. Um, I'd rather you, I'd rather have the energy next turn to be honest with you because I can just reap you to death. I hope. All right, look, I'm just gonna let you hit the pyre once, okay? Our pyre is gonna take some small hits as things move up. We don't quite do enough sweep damage right now. But I'm pretty certain you're gonna be destroyed. Now, here's a, a point of order here. With our champion being in front of the Legion, when the champion dies, the Legion will lose its bonus. We might wanna have the Legion in front of the champion. I definitely think you want Bounding Echoes. And I gotta be honest, I, I love a giraffe. I also really like Resin Removal. It's so nice in fighting the Divinity when you can just like purge spell shields and damage shields and whatnot. But I think we need something that's dying and coming back and I actually do kind of like the draft for that. We could also, and I only realized this the other day, I'm pretty sure that if your egg opens, you can just bring it back with molding, but you have to make sure it hatches immediately, otherwise it's gonna die immediately. So in theory, maybe you can Actually, you know what? I think the unit itself would probably burn out. So maybe you don't want to bring back an egg. Um, but I do like a draft. I think the draft could totally wor work. It's a multi-strike. It's a good unit. Yeah, I mean, we, we need more units right now. Speaking of, Keeper of Echoes, Kinhost Vessel. I don't think we need a second one. Do we need a Paraffin Thug? We're not gonna get a sweeper, so the Paraffin Thug is almost never gonna be able to actually get a kill for the gold gain. 
A Keeper of Echoes though. It's an expensive unit, but it fits right behind the champion and then it buffs everyone on the floor with per ins inspiration. I actually think it could work. I'm I know I'm going kind of heavy into this Legion strat, but I'm also thinking, okay, duplication and card removal and then hell vent so we can put something inside of the legion and then we just keep purging units and purging units and then duplicating and then duplicating and then we can maybe just get five legions of waxes maybe that's enough i don't know here i'm even thinking do we even need unit upgrades maybe we just go for an artifact because depending on what we get we could get something that fits very well with the deck archetype I mean, a Bounty Stalker would be like the top tier get from this. But we don't have a lot of money. And if we don't have a lot of money, let's just move left. We're gonna get another unit banner. We're gonna get two unit banners after the boss fight because you get one from the boss and then we are gonna duplicate a Legion, I think. So. Yeah. I'm trying to think also of unit melding. I'm like, what if we put Keeper of Echoes into the Legion, and then every time we inspire on the floor, it gets plus one, plus one. But that's not really that much. I feel like a Legion with Revenge Summon in a Legion would be even better because it just means that, that unit will actually never die. Then again, we're not really doing that much damage, and damage output's gonna be the big problem moving forward, but I still like this. At the start of battle, add two to each floor or increase capacity. Just getting two per floor is so nice. Magic power piercing and magic power. I don't have any damage spells, unfortunately. I wish I did. Restore health and gain pack shards. The uh, I missed the old event. It used to be purge for pack shards, which was a lot more fun. Restoring pyre health. Pyre health is, pyre health is rarely the be all end all, mostly it's damage and draw and cards and energy and capacity. You know, if you die, it's not because you got hit by one of the rage guys on the first floor, it's because, oh hey, you didn't kill the boss, he still has 1200 HP left. What's coming up next? Another temple. And that temple is where we're gonna double up and then meld the um, legions. Yeah. So I think we'll... Um... I don't know. Chump blockers for the legion I think is still what we want. Um, I think these are Honestly, not that good. I, I, I'm actually starting to think that maybe we don't even want units. Maybe literally the only unit we want is Legion of Death. Legion of Death? I was sorry, I just read Unit Death here. But still, Legion of Death sounds pretty freaking cool. Now you are doing a lot of damage, admittedly. I think, um... I mean, this is a funny one, because if I put my Spine Chief down, it'll go down to, like, 2 HP. I want to have Keeper and Spine Chief on the same floor, but we can't. We only have one Dripfall as well. I think we just have to accept that, um... This isn't gonna go exactly how we want, especially not early. But I like killing these units before they move up, so I think we'll try to put Spine Chief here. And then we will um, just not even play Keeper of Echoes. Because the only unit that I care about is still in the draw pile. <laughs> I do think we could we could put you out there. So you would take like eight damage from this. It's really not that much. I think I'd rather just like kill you. I think I'd rather just get a train steward out to die. You know, we should have put the draft out because we have molds in the deck. I forgot that that's a, a base part of our run here is having molds. Yeah. 
right? You've eaten all of the, all the goodness. Um, still, how are you not dying? Right, because of the freaking egg, I forgot. Dude, the egg sucks. <laughs> I forgot just how much the egg sucks, but the egg is absolutely awful. I hate eggs. Honestly, I have half the opinion just to burn you out just so I can get you out of here, but. And Dripfall would be nice because it would move the Legion down, but right now the Legion's actually doing a pretty good job. I think, I think for this combat, I'm just gonna open the egg and we'll just do that. The egg and the legion together should be able to deal with the boss. I'm not, I'm not that worried about them. And we will open the egg on this turn. We're not gonna get, be able to um, kill these units, unfortunately, but the egg will die. Why are there two bombs down there? I guess I descended a bomb, didn't I? And now if we can descend, our, our legion, we absolutely will. So we need damage. I guess you will come back. At the end of turn. So you're gonna burn out, e even, if, even if we were killing everything on the floor, you would still burn out first. We want damage and damage. I mean, now that the Poopo's been unlocked, like we can see that he's doing, you know, a lot of damage. It's kind of his whole reason of existing. How come that only increased the damage by like freaking 12? I guess you're doing a lot. Ah, because our champion died so fast, that makes sense. Okay, I mean, you're still dead. Um, so I'm not really that worried. And now the Legion is split, and you have two Legions to deal with. Echoes of the Past. Apply plus six, and then clear. Kill friendly units, reform until it exceeds capacity. <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta be honest with you. It worked well last time. It, it, it means that the eggs would never hatch. But do you think we could do this again with Hallowed Halls, or should we just take, take like an Echoes of the Past? The problem with Echoes is plus six attack per charged Echo is way less than we would get out of our champion in the end game, because in the end, the champion would gain like 20, right? Yeah, 20 attack per shard. We want the champion to live. So Echoes of the Past is a little bit on the, on the stranger side. I think that Hallowed Halls could be very good for us, and especially if we can make it um, minus two intrinsic holdover. I think this is a very good, oh no, everything has gone wrong, what do I need, what do I do? Sure. It's just funny enough, it just might work. Summon two bog flies. I don't think I want another freaking shell. Wickless Tycoon would be very funny in the Legion of Wax because then every time it dies and splits, the splits would also have on harvest gain gold. <laughs> Dude, I gotta admit, there, there's something tempting about this. Now, do you go capacity, draw, or energy? I do think that draw might be a little bit more important Energy means we could actually play the Legion of Wax, uh, and capacity means that if we ever do buff the Legion again, he's playable, but I, I think I've learned my lesson. We would rather go one pip than six pips. But I like capacity, because then we could put like the Egg, the Keeper, and the Champion on the same floor. Admittedly, it's the bottom floor, but... Yeah, let's go capacity, and we're gonna we're gonna try to make this work. It, it's such a weird run right now, but I've I've got... Hopefully good feelings about it. And we do have an intrinsic Howlet Halls if we really want to make it that style of a deck. And I, I think we totally can. This is so, so strange. 
But I think we want to go super heavy Legion of Wax Wickless Tycoon build. Like, cause here's my here's my thinking, right? You kill the Tycoon, you put it in the Legion. First of all, stats. But then, if you Hallowed Halls, you can kill the Legion, reform the Legion every turn, and then just constantly have more Twins of Waxes on the same floor, even if like, even if you you don't really get much out of it immediately, you can just keep reforming it, and the Legion will keep coming out over and over again, giving you money every time. Things will die. And then honestly, if we du double up on the Legion, I don't think we're gonna have two Legions on the same floor for most situations, but we'll still have another Legion Tycoon out there that we can have behind our champion floor. And then one Legion on the bottom floor that's just constantly dying and coming back over and over again. I think this is so freaking hilarious, it just might work. And we definitely want an intrinsic Hallowed Halls, because we're going to make this holdover and minus two at some point. And then yes, we're going to double up on the Legion of Wax. Look, I know, this is weird, we're going very deep into, into this path right now. But I think it's just so crazy enough that it just might work, and I don't even want any of you. I might just remove all other units from the deck. Plus six. You do have haste, but we can fracture you, so it's not gonna be that much of a problem. It's such a weird style, but I, I wanna see if, if we can live for a couple of, of boss fights. We can gain a lot of gold out of this, and which I think will make it worth it. Now, I don't have the energy now, I'm realizing, to play both of these, so we do have to get energy at some point. But at least for now, we could just still play the Wickless Tycoon, and he'll die, and then split, and then we'll have two of them out there. Actually, what's really interesting is putting the Spine Chief down as well, which will buff the damage of the Legion. This is kind of like the perfect turn. You play the Legion, Spine Chief, Descend. Legion, Spine Chief, Descend. And now we do more damage on the floor per charged Echo. We have two Legions, units are dying, and we're getting a lot of gold out of it. Look, kinda works. If it works and it ain't stupid, then it works, right? So you're not quite dying, which is very unfortunate. And I have nothing in hand to use to boost anyone. Okay, well. At least now you're dying. Gotta be honest with you, we, sh we played this in the wrong order, but I do want you to just tank the shot. Yeah, energy is gonna be the next thing that we get, and we need to upgrade spells now. Like, heavy, heavy, heavy spell upgrades. Everything's dying, which is beautiful. We can mold back another Legion, but that doesn't seem correct, does it? Really, all I want to do is just build up one floor full of legions. <laughs> you seeing the money come in? <laughs> jing, 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 jing. Because every single one of these units has a harvest trigger. So if anything dies, we get triple the gold now. It's so weird. But it just might work. Now, unfortunately, there's not enough capacity for a uh, legion on this floor. Unfortunate. But, um, you know, I guess it could bring back, not you, could bring back, uh, yeah, the train steward. So that guy has two HP left, but he's still doing 62 times two. We have 460 gold. How much money did we have coming into this fight, by the way? The answer is I don't know. But just think about it, if we can make, if we can make Hallowed Halls hold over every floor, we're just gonna have an infinite number of units. By the way, you're dying. No more cards to draw. So we have 460 gold. 470. 480, I guess it didn't really increase it that much, did it? We have 680 gold, what?
Please tell me we have a uh, Divine Temple coming up. We don't, it's an artifact. But we have to go Merchant of Magic on this one. Remove all debuffs and buffs. Reform, trigger and extinguish without killing it. Yes, please. Now I'm thinking, okay, what if we what if we make this innate and we have only legions and on the first turn of combat we just make legions? We can we can still do both. We can have one floor with a normal legion and one floor with, you know, horrible monsters. <laughs> did did we already add a resin removal? We didn't. Look, I'm still going to take intent on death. It's just so funny. Oh hey, more pyre health. No. God, you're useless. Uh, we have to go this path. So Holdover um, now makes the Hallowed Halls insane. I don't think we want to make it cheaper though. <sighs> we have to make it cheaper to make it playable. It's worth playing for one, because I'm thinking we could make it minus two cost, but if we just take energy after this, then we can totally just play it. We're gonna remove train stewards. You know, I actually think maybe we'll just remove, like, Keeper of Echoes? I think that was not the take that we wanted. Okay, and then, I mean, this is what I said that we should do, so let's do it. We're gonna make a small legion this time so that we can play it on the same floor as like our champion and constantly kill it over and over again. And then the big legion will just go on its own floor. Now do we want an artifact? I mean, I think what I wanna do first is like upgrade some spells. <sighs> At one cost, it's playable. So I do like it. What is this, buff debuff Seraph? Oh, who cares? Yeah, at one cost it's playable enough that I kind of like it. Let's reroll. I was hoping for a remove consume, but what I like about this is that we can just hold this until it's playable. And we'll just make it cheap because really none of our other cards really matter that much. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna purge the egg. That's not really what I'm building right now, is it? And um, just purge the train steward. I'm spending money because we can actually gain a lot of cash on this run. Artifact? This is just like a normal fight. Gain five when a, when a friendly unit dies. When you would play a spell, Spells that cost less are reduced when you would ascend or descend a unit apply days. These are all great because we have one drip fall. We could daze an enemy unit, but I think we just want big old gold game. Spell shield, who cares? And then we just reform our units over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now, <sighs> This is not the right floor for this, for certain. I, I actually think, I actually think we'll just play you at the bottom to die. And we'll play you on the top floor with a legion in front of you. And then we'll, we'll hallowed halls maybe the, um, maybe we'll just hallow hold the bot hallow hall the bottom over and over again. Cause it doesn't really care if the what the legions do. Ah, but if I play you up here, I can't play you next turn because I'm not going to have the energy because we're guaranteed to draw our other Tycoon la uh, Wax next turn. So I got to think about the order of this. Maybe we're okay with the Legions at the top and maybe we just want to play like a Spine Chief in the middle. Because if we Legion and then Hallowed Halls, we'll have the capacity to play everything. Okay, you know what? We'll do it like that. So we're Ember Drained, now we're not Ember Drained. Also, things are dying. Also, 
you're gonna burn out next turn. So we have 245 gold, <laughs> 270 gold. I mean, I, I think I think we're just gonna have absurd gold gain forever on this one, which I think is kind of hilarious. So you're gonna come out. You should tank, honestly. And then speaking of being honest with you, I think, to be honest with you, Okay, I have 400 gold now. <laughs> I just gained... Oh my god, I have 600 gold! <laughs> this is absurd, and I love it! Trigger an extinguish ability without killing your unit. Yes? I got. I gotta be honest with you, I think we just do this. Because I know what unit's coming back. Do you know what unit's coming back? I'm gonna give you one freaking chance at guessing what unit's coming back. Uh, 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 uh. He's not burning out though, because he was resummoned the first time around. How was he resummoned the first time around? Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, he, was, he, no, what? No, he was resummoned with burnout the first time around and then the extinguish happens. Maybe the order of operations is different than I thought it would be here, but you know what? We'll we'll decide we'll figure that out in a second because uh You know, we're just gonna play another Hallowed Halls next turn. So like So you die. We're like so over capacity. I'm trying to figure out how this is working. I guess. Ah, oh, you know why? Because they're only three capacity each. And then we summon one more unit because we're at five capacity. That's what's going on there. Okay, I get it now. Okay, we have 800 gold all of a sudden. I mean, honestly, if you're coming back over and over again... Okay, 900 gold. Hey, how's it going? Now you sweep, you're kind of annoying, but... I don't really foresee this being too detrimental. Let's not play that, let's just play this up here. So we have 900 gold, 1,000. 1100 gold, okay. I love that um, both of these guys are dying on the bottom floor. Uh, and by the way, you're dying, so what we should do is we should play this wherever we want. Probably here. Now I have 1200 gold. By the way. Mm, now we have 1300 gold. We just, sorry, 1375 gold. Sorry, 1400 gold. I gained 1200 gold in one combat. <laughs> Dude, no, no, do not add anything. Although Broken Memory is admittedly bringing back, uh, not Hallowed Halls, but Intent on Death would be absolutely hilarious. So I will add this and then we're going like insane, super heavy card removal. I also think we take Crushing Demise to kill like the big units if we can't kill them in the future. But we're going ultra super heavy card removal completely because this is just r absolutely ridiculous. And we're going going full spell upgrades because we have Lightstone casing and we need stuff. So I gotta admit, probably don't need the draft. Probably don't need uh, primitive molds either. Apply Days 3 Melee Weakness 1 to the enemy units on the bottom floor in the first wave of combat. Sure. Purge and Spell Chain. Now, this is, you know, honestly, we could probably just Spell Chain Intent on Death. Yeah. 
because now now we can summon a, a you know a big unit twice. Gain holdover. I mean, keeping a unit on a floor seems pretty good. Holdover crushing demise, though, especially on the floor with our uh, with our units, doesn't matter at all because we kill our units anyways. So. <laughs> Remove consume. This is what I was kind of hoping with uh, intent on death. But if we just don't consume broken memories, we can still bring it back over and over again. So this still totally works. Plus 10 magic power doesn't matter. So we're just gonna go ultra heavy card removal. Like we literally don't need any primitive molds. 2400, I'll pay for it. 300, I'll pay for it. It doesn't get any more expensive than 300? Yo, that's so good. We can remove all cards from our deck now. <laughs> and this is Fell. This is Rage Fell, I think, which is like, who cares? Yo, how, how good is this gonna be when we get another Legion, when we dupe him? Honestly, maybe I'll just dupe the Hallowed Halls. I mean, we're getting infinite gold right now. So I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of thinking, what if you just legion on the bottom and just kind of murder everything? Because we did it on the top last time. I mean, we should probably still do it on the top, right? Like literally do the same thing that we just did. So we entered this fight with like zero gold. So let's see how how well this actually works for us, right? So you come out. This will also be permafrosted. We hallowed halls because we can just play this next turn, and uh, we just wait. <laughs> And uh, now we have the energy, so we can play this. And then play this. They are dying. Oh wait, look, they're back. Well, one of them's back. And unfortunately, you know, I just gotta wait for him to uh, burn out so I can kill him again. But also, hey, wait a minute. You gain armor? Look, armor does not matter to me right now. We'll just bring back in, you know, intent on death. Because uh, that's kind of what we do. I would like it if you were down here getting hit for 300 as opposed to 70. Blah, 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 blah. Look, you're gonna be dazed for a long time, my friend. So, oh look, we got this again. But we've already, we, we hit the room limit. So, really, we should just do this. Sure. We just did like 400 damage to Fell, and I, it was an accident. I don't want Fell to die. I want Fell to live because when Fell lives, I get to, I get to play more cards. You're like yes, please consume this. And you know what? Get that out of my deck. We're gonna have to pay for the removal, but you know, something tells me that's not gonna be a big problem. So I still think we want, ener uh, we want energy. Although, um, yeah, ca capacity is not a big problem, is it? We probably just want energy. By the way, things died. Oh no, the enemy died. That's why we got money for it. <laughs> now that I think about it, that makes a lot more sense. Return to consume spell. Yoink. I mean, now they're all burnt out three and they do 60 damage with 60 health. Honestly, I'm not that big of a uh, complainer about how this is working for us. 
So I think we want this. And then honestly, let's do this. Oh, you don't have a freaking trigger on you. Oh, that's fine. Well, in that case, why don't we do it on this floor? Boom, and then uh, boom. We good? <laughs> you know what? There's a little bit of extra for you, and uh... all right. So I gained 1,700 gold in one combat. I feel. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Perfect insanity. I gotta be honest with you. I think cards like this are totally fine in this deck. And now, what do you actually want? Do you want the draw, do you want the capacity, or do you want the energy? The energy means we can play both of our legions when we draw them, if we draw them on the same turn, but if we draw them on the same turn, we still have to play Howlet Halls anyways. So I actually feel like you probably go draw so you can get back to the legion quickly if you need to. So I'm changing my mind. Oh, hey, look, restore health. I, I don't care. Now, I would love to go left, but don't, wouldn't we do better by duplicating like a Hallowed Halls? Well, we don't really need two of them, but once we play the Legions, we would like to have two of them. I mean, we could just duplicate Intent on Death. Yeah, it seems pretty good. <laughs> it's like, purge the Fractures from the deck right now and then double up on an intent. Look, I don't know what you're gonna offer me. I could purge a card. Also, our champion is like doing nothing. Non-boss enemy units get plus eight, sure. Oh no, they do a lot of damage. Hmm. So this is exactly what I was thinking about. If we draw them both early, it might not be what we want, what we could do is we could Spine Chief Legion. Dude, I actually think you play the small Legion and double it, because then you'll, you'll get more units on the floor every time, right? Dude, you know what? Maybe you don't even play your Spine Chief. Nah, you probably still play him. You just play him up here, right? Yeah, like, get out. I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna double you. And I'm gonna murder you and summon copies. So we're not quite killing everything. We're getting close. And one of our legions was unplayable, but like the intent on death still means that, well the intent on death hold, uh, hallowed halls means that this floor is still gonna be Totally fine, I feel. You're not dying, that'll kill you. You making it up doesn't really bother me that much anyways, but I could drip fall you, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna let you go, I think. Also, we have the other intent on death now that I think about it. So let's, um, you know what? So we should probably, probably lower you because we have the energy for everything on this turn. And if we weren't at the capacity limit, I could just double up on a unit anyways, but like, we're set. Our units are dying, but it doesn't really matter. They did make it up, admittedly. I'd prefer it if they didn't, but... Oh, you've got stealth. No wonder you're being annoying. So you're, you're a big legion? All right, well in that case. We dupe him and then split him so that we get more, more units on the floor. Oh, I get it. I mean, that'll just kill you. 
and then are you are you a normal legion you're a normal legion so I should I should always be buffing you when possible we're getting all the kills on the bottom floor now still looking for my legion unfortunately but you know what boom now you're dead so <laughs> this to me feels like a hallowed halls and then bring back an intent not like we really need another intent because we actually can't play anything else on this floor so yeah, second Hallowed Halls would really have helped up our helped our generation. And we should have probably taken a second Hallowed Halls now that I think about it. But that's okay. Because everything is still going just fine. By the way, you're dying, so. <laughs> oh hey, look, there's my other Legion of Wax. Which we don't have we don't really have the energy to play it, admittedly. So, I think you just don't care about him. All right, you're dead. I'm not. E I'm not even purging your multi strike. You have 50. You have 60 damage times two with trample, and you're still dying. And I have almost 4,000 gold. Nope, I have 4,000 gold actually. We don't need another one, let's be honest. I don't even think we need resin removal on this one, who cares? It could purge stealth, but if I just play on the top floor, everything dies anyways. So I'm like, I, 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 don't, even, I don't even think we have to duplicate anything. The run is totally set. I'm gonna go spell upgrades. I'm gonna purge cards. I'm gonna purge even more cards. And I'm gonna purge the card, I'm gonna purge the deck down to like six cards, which I think is totally perfect. Um, we're also gonna buy like a billion artifacts. I I'm just thinking like, do we need anything else? Like another Hallowed Halls is totally fine, but with the intense on death that we have, we can always double our units without needing to Hallowed Halls them at all. So I'm like, y you don't need to be in the deck. You don't need to be in the deck. Let's check out the uh, trinkets. Yes. Rage when they lose burnout, nobody cares. Um. Draw plus one each turn, sure. Then that, that way we can play both of the legions. It's just buff debuff Seraph, who cares? Um, you know what, let's, uh, let's check this real quick. Greatest spell to cost minus two. See, this would have been better on like the hallowed halls and whatnot, but I wanted to get the early upgrades to make it playable first. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> You sure? Thing is, it really just doesn't matter what I upgrade. We just have infinite cash. Like, you know, why not give it holdover? It's cheap. <laughs> why not give a unit or give a spell holdover? It's cheap. Also, I can afford to remove 10 cards. So here's the deal. You're getting removed. You're removed. You're removed. You're removed. You're removed. You're removed. Um, I don't need you. Gotta be honest, I don't even think we need the drip fall anymore. I don't even think we need broken memories anymore. I mean, we have four intent on deaths with the Hallowed Halls. That's probably enough, but you know, I'll, I'll leave it in. Why not? Uh, probably don't need perfect insanity, but there you go. There's an 11 card deck. I have 800 bucks and no idea what to spend it on. I could still remove two cards if I wanted. Just realize it's kind of hard to play Perfect Insanity right now. <laughs> um, 
What's uh, what's 50 times like seven? That's probably enough damage. I don't think we need perfect insanity. I know I like literally just bought and upgraded the card, but there you go. There's a 10 card deck. Because uh, if, if I just put the big, uh, the big Legion on the top floor, then I can just, I can just have the big Legion be duplicated due to intents and then like that's totally fine forever. Anyways, you're dead. Um, so we're still gonna, we're gonna dupe, then Hallowed Halls. Now we have a full floor, that's exactly what we want. And then Spine Chief, honestly, like. I don't even think I play you, to be honest. You just don't do anything. I could play you and then like, keep reforming you over and over again to get more damage on the on the legions, but... Like, what part of this makes you think that the legion even needs more damage? Just give me a... Give me a dead weight next turn, because I want to see if this will get a kill on the unit that I want. It didn't, but we got some gold out of it. Also, we're gonna... We're gonna have no energy next turn. And you know what? Whatever. Let's double down into that. I mean, look, if everything's dying down here, do we want to, like, keep bringing back the Spine Chief over and over again? I actually think that maybe we do. Although we probably want to bring him back on the bottom floor, but, like, if he burns out, he's still giving plus 20 times 14 damage to other units, <laughs> so I think it totally works. Broken Memories, I'm just gonna hold on to. I wish you guys were burned out, but we're gonna have zero energy on this turn. What do we want on the top of the draw pile? Probably Hallowed Halls, because nothing else is playable, unfortunately. Um, I mean, th this is basically how things go bad. And it's not even really going that Bad, it's just annoying. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but it works. Oh, hey, I have energy. <laughs> Dump the, uh, God, we're just drawing dead weights like every turn. Dump the dead weight, who cares? So I don't want to actually like crushing demise on this floor. I want it to just be a floor of big legions. I don't want the big legion to die because if the big legion dies, he'll come back on a lower floor. I want the small legions. Like what we want to do is like, it was a 50-50, come on. <laughs> um, well, hallowed halls down here and then hope we'll get lucky and just get a whole bunch of burnout one units that won't ember drain me next turn. Really, that's it, huh? I mean, you're dying. I suppose we'll just like... I suppose we'll just do this. Have to imagine that'll probably be good enough. And uh, hey, we're gonna have one energy next turn. Let's go. Damn, don't even play anything else. Well, let this just go to show you that if you can infinitely kill your own Legion of Wax, you're probably in a good position. By the way, you know what, let's do it like, let's do it like this. Let's see what we get. I don't even think there's gonna be capacity for our champion. He's summoned! <laughs> We're doing 800 damage! Let's go. <laughs> you don't need that to happen too many times during the uh, divinity fight, do you? Every time, I just wanted to kill you, man. Um, tell you what though, what's dead? 
Nothing's dead? You're my legion and you're alive? Okay, well. I guess we won't hallowed halls on this floor. Probably just do it on this floor then. <laughs> he got summoned! You know, he's the only other unit who could get summoned, so I guess it makes sense why he's getting summoned. Okay, um. This floor has le reached the seven room limit. Okay. Well. You know what? I can't play you, so we'll do it like this. You're taking 430 damage. Uh, I'm happy. End turn. This is the most broken Legion run I've ever had, and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. This is so much fun. By the way, get duplicated. Our champion didn't get summoned, but it doesn't matter because they all do like 118 damage. Oh, because of resin block. I forgot about the resin block. That's why it was such a, a important relic to get, artifact, because now we now we don't have to worry about our champion helping with the damage at all. Restore all health, gain 20 pack shards. It's six HP. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, but you are the most useless event. The one that had Purge was way more interesting because it's more helpful. Restoring all of your Pyre health before the last fight could also be very helpful. But you know what's also more helpful? Hmm, having good cards. Having Legions of Wax. So I'll just get the Legion next turn because, you know, we know what we're playing here. It's going to be you, 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 and then you. No champion, unfortunately, but that's okay. We'll get him get him in the future. <laughs> Alright, dump the Dump the Deadweight. We're not gonna play it. No, you can dump this so that the Deadweight's discard, but like I I shuffle my whole deck basically every turn anyways. So we do want the Legion to get out. Because with the Legion, now we can duplicate him. And we're going to do it on this floor because this one's sweet. I'd rather just have the front one die and just resummon him over and over again. Crushing Demise is an easy kill. And then we will certainly Hallowed Halls again. Because we should be able to get our champion out now. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> All right. And now our, our tiny little moats of waxes are doing 200 damage each already. We're gonna be playing a lot of things in this turn. Dump the dead weight, because we're gonna crushing demise. Kill the big unit. Um, we're gonna hallowed halls. And I'm realizing we should always hallowed halls first, because then you could always just intent on death to summon another copy anyways. Although really we're just gonna do that up here now. But if you need to intent on death to fill up the capacity, you can always do that after the, after the reformation. All right, well, you're dying, so I think we'll just do this. It, do it does work on the boss, or rather the mini boss. That's so good. <laughs> I didn't know if it would work that way. I'm so happy it does. Anyways, you're taking 1800 damage. By the way, now you're taking 2,000 damage. We're gonna kill the boss next turn, I think. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Probably like the biggest stomp I've ever had in uh, in the last Divinity. It's just such a I honestly end turn. It's just such a, a fun run archetype and a fun run, and we just have infinite gold. We were able to build the deck exactly how we wanted it. You're dead. You, you had no chance. I can't wait for the pop-up that's like, you've gotten the most money you've ever had before. We, we had over 10,000 gold on this run. We will absolutely break the record for gold gain. You beat your friend, total Wormkin victories. No, I wanna see my record for most gold gained. <laughs> 
Uh, my God, what a what a crazy run. Did that tell me how much money I had? It did. Three thirty three hundred gold. Oh, that's how much money I had at the end of the run. Oh my God. Plus twenty five hundred points due to the gold. <laughs> I think it maxes out. Yeah, it maxes out at 2500 for money. Um, I mean, that was just, that was the most broken run I think I've ever had. Tiny legions and then just copying him over and over again and getting infinite gold due to Wickless Tycoon. I wasn't even sure I wanted him. I kind of was thinking about the um, Moat of Wax on the Legion of Wax's unit essence, but I'm so glad I went for the money because due to that, we were able, I mean, we had infinite cash on this run. It was so good. I had money at the end of the run that I didn't, didn't know what to do with. I had 11 card deck, I had a 10 card deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It counts your champion. <laughs> Anyways, that was probably one of the most fun runs I've ever had. And you know what, in case you want it. There you go, there's your, your your Wheel Village Pierce challenge run. I don't know if that'll, I don't know if that stays for like forever, but there you go. If you want the run, if you want the seed, there it was. Uh, copies a link to your clipboard that you can send to other players to easily view this run summary. Well, it's gone. <laughs> Hold on, let me open notepad. Notepad, come back to me. Okay, the run result is 8FFFDD40-26EF-44CB-A8C0-DBF6FD5FDB9F. Easy. Hey, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.